Hello, guys. Good evening. Can you hear me, guys? Hi. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Can you hear me? Yes. Very good. Very good. I'm sorry, guys. Um, uh, Miss Sandra is not gonna be with you tonight. All right, I'm gonna be your teacher tonight. I'm going to replace uh, her place. So no worries. Everything will be the same. My name is Rene, and I'm going to be your teacher. And if you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll be more than happy to assist you. All right. So I was watching some videos, and I know that you guys like to participate. I I love that. All right. So with me, we are going to learn a lot of information. All right. No hay prisa. Verdad, no hay prisa. A mí me gusta ir step by step. All right. So if you don't understand one thing, we're gonna we're gonna be rebattling. Right. So we're gonna be working with the part that you guys need to work. All right, this is uh, beginners model three, I guess, right? Yes. Model three. Ese es el módulo tres. Yes. Yeah. Very yes. good. Very good. Very good. Once again, guys, my name is Rene. You can call me coach, teacher, Mr. Escamilla, or whatever you want. Okay. And I'll be more than happy to uh, work with you guys. I understand that sometimes we get used to right with the with the previous teacher. You you go like, a, oh man, I used to work with this teacher and I don't like, I mean, I don't like to change. I don't like to switch, but no worries, all right? Everything would be the same, all right? So I would try to do my best. If I am talking too fast, let me know, all right? So just raise your hand and tell me, hey, mister, you're talking too fast. Slow down, slow down. If you have any questions, raise your hand and tell me, hey, coach, teacher, hey, I have a question. Could you please repeat that one more time? And I'll be more than happy to assist you and explain the information that you need to know. Okay. I understand that you guys are working uh are working right now with irregular verbs, uh auxiliary deed, and simple past, simple present. And I saw a lot of combination, right? Together. It's pretty good when you have a lot of information. Porque a veces, déjeme decirle de que practicamos solamente un tema y Como le decía el grupo anterior, we can be practicing tonight like five, 10, 11 topics, all right? But I want you to you guys practice, all right? Practice and practice and practice because if you don't practice, all right, it's like a, you're not doing nothing. Usted puede tener mucha información acá, pero en el, en el término de aprender un lenguaje, tenemos que practicar, all right? So, yes, Edgardo, dígame. Alguna pregunta? No. All right. All right. So now let's rock and roll the class, guys. Let me start. Uh, every everybody is totally different, right? So I will try to do my best with you. Don't get scared, okay? So let me go ahead and double check some information real quick over here. Let's see. Just a moment. Let's see. Let me share some information. Let's see. One second. Just a moment. Okay. Just a moment, just a moment. Just a moment, guys. Okay. All right, just a moment. Let me just share this information real quick. And let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now, okay? Let me share it at this moment. Okay, guys, uh, in my classes, I need to be motivated all the time, right? So we need to be motivated, why? Because if we don't have a motivation, all right, it's like a, you don't do, I mean, you're not doing nothing. That's my point of view. If you don't, if you're not motivated, it's like a, you're not doing, anything okay so now let's repeat i understand that everybody wants to wants to go to to everybody wants to go to, to bed and sleep right so everybody repeat motivation come on let's go motivation let's repeat motivation i want to hear you motivation motivation everybody motivation all right motivation. Very good. Motivation. motivation excellent everybody needs to be motivated why because 
as we can see over here, the quote that we have here says, today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. Let me repeat it back to you. Today is your opportunity to build the tomorrow you want. ¿Qué quiere decir? Que hoy es la oportunidad que usted tiene que construir su mañana que usted quiere, ¿verdad? Hoy es la oportunidad de construir el mañana que nosotros queremos. All right, so, tal vez podemos decir, hey, look, ¿sabes qué? I just have three months working with this academy and I feel like I'm not learning. Me siento que no estoy aprendiendo. No. You need to approach this opportunity and focus that you will get it. Usted tiene que completar sus metas y tiene que agarrar esa oportunidad y la va a completar. But if, if you are like, oh my goodness, another hour, another day, and I, I'm tired, I'm sleepy, and, and this guy is so bored, entonces usted mismo se está automedicando en el mal sentido, ¿verdad? Usted tiene que estar motivado, okay, motivated. So that's the reason that we need to repeat everybody. Today is your opportunity. Come on, everybody, let's go. Today is your Today opportunity. Is your opportunity. <laughs> to build the tomorrow you want. To, to build, build the tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow you want. want. All right, so very good. Everybody, one more time. Today is your opportunity. Today, Today is your opportunity. opportunity. To build the tomorrow you want. To, to build, build the tomorrow, tomorrow you want. want. Excellent, very good, very good. So, le voy a creer si me manda un like aquí por su, aquí por el, uh, por el chat. ¿Verdad? O aquí que lo mire yo, nos manda un like así amarillito y le voy a creer que ahora va a ser su oportunidad de construir su mañana que usted quiere. Everybody wants to get a better job, right? So, si, yo le, si, le, si empezamos a preguntar motivación, no terminamos la clase. If I ask, Edgardo, what is your motivation? What is your motivation? Why you are learning to speak English? Why? Tell me. Because I want to learn the... Uh, new, new important things like speak, like speaking a, a new language, uh, because uh, I like the the English. Excellent, excellent. And I want, I, I, I want to to have a new important skills. Excellent, excellent, very good. What about if I ask Elsie the Carmen? Why will uh why you are learning to speak English? What is your I mean your motivation? Uh, lo puedo decir en español. Of course, go ahead, go ahead. No matter. Bueno, siempre tuve el deseo de 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 aprender este hablar inglés y que el relacionarnos con extranjeros es una motivación bastante eh, Interesante para mí, ¿verdad? De poder este, comunicarme con ellos por cuestiones familiares. Así que para mí es, es un reto y también es una bendición. Very good, very good. Excellent. Just remember, uh, Miss, try to uh, double check uh, because every class that I have, I like to share a quote, right? Uh, basically, in this case, would be this one that we have here. Always try to write it down and put it in your mind. Put it in your mind all the time and you will get the goals that you are looking for. Siempre trate de ponerse estos, estos pensamientos en su mente y su mente va a trabajar positivo. All right. So every time, every time that we are taking classes with any teacher, not just with Mr. Scamilla, you need to be motivated and you need to be positive. All right. So, okay. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent, guys. Now, let's see. Let me read this part. Real quick, I mean, this uh, uh, tongue twister. Why I'm asking or why I'm telling you that we need to practice English. Como le digo, usted puede tener la información del, del mundo en ese momento. But if you don't have fluency, if we don't have uh, fluency when we're talking, all right, we're not doing anything. So now let's do this faster because I don't want to get you much of the time. So, and it says like this, Betty bought. Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter, so Betty bought better butter to make the bitter be uh, butter better. Okay, very good. This is a tongue twister. Why we are practicing this? ¿Por qué estamos haciendo estos ejercicios? Porque yo sé, siempre digo a mis alumnos, cuando estamos empezando a hablar un lenguaje, quiero que aprenda 
rápido, ¿verdad? Entonces yo le aconsejo que todos los días se baje un trabalengua y lo practique en su casa. Son five minutes, cinco minutos lo que se va, se va a tomar. Y créame que su, su fluidez va a empezar a cambiar. Esta es una técnica que usted la va a utilizar y créame que le va a servir. Ok, now let's see. Uh, Oswaldo Hernández, help, help me with this uh, tongue for, twister, for please. Advice, yes, like a, an advice. Ok. Ok, uh, Oswaldo Hernández, ayúdeme, puede, lo, ¿se puede ver? Si no lo yes. movemos. Ok. Vaya, ayúdeme. Eh, Espérame, lo voy a limpiar, lo voy, lo voy a limpiar, permítame. Ok. <risa> un momento ¿se mira bien? o ok ok léalo Betty Boat Better Bad the Better Was Beat to Betty Boat Better Butter to make the Better Butter Better Okay, very good, very good. Everybody repeat. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Butter, but the butter was bitter. Butter, but the butter was bitter. So very bad, better butter. So very, so very bad, bad, better butter. Very butter. To make the bitter butter better. To make, to make the, the bitter butter, 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 butter better. Very good. Okay, let's see. Uh, Wendy, please repeat that one for me, please. Go ahead. Okay. Very bold, butter, but the butter was bitter, so very bold, better, butter to make the bitter, butter better. All right, let's repeat everybody. Bitter. 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 Quiere decir así como amargo, ¿verdad? Amargo. No agridulce, sino que amargo, okay? So everybody okay. repeat butter. 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 And let's repeat but. 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 Okay, now let's see. Elsie, help me with the talk. I mean, with the, the quote. Go ahead. Very bold, butter, but the butter was bitter. So very bold, bitter, bitter butter to make the bitter butter bitter. Excellent. Rebecca, please help me. Go ahead. Very bold. The butter put the butter was bitter, so very bad. Better butter to make bitter butter better. Thank you, Elmer. Please go ahead, help me. Very bad. Put that the butter was bad, so very bad. Better put to make to bitter but better. Thank you, Elsie. The Carmen, please help me. Very bad, better, but the butter was bitter. So very bad, better butter to make the bitter butter bitter. Okay, Karina, please help me. Bitter bow, butter, but the butter was bitter. So very bad, better butter to make the bitter butter better. Excellent. Oswaldo Hernandez, please go ahead. Very butter, better, but the butter was bitter. So, very bold, better butter to make the bitter butter better. Thank you, Rodrigo Beltran, please go ahead. Okay. Very bold, butter, but the butter was bitter. So, bitter about better butter to make the bitter. Butter beater. Excellent. Jaime, please. Very bold. Butter, but the butter was bitter. So very bold. Better butter to make the bitter butter better. Genesis, please. Thank you. Genesis, Abigail. Very bold. Butter, but the butter was bitter. So very bold. Better butter to make the bitter bitter butter better. Gabriel, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, you just mentioned that. I'm sorry. I mean, 
Oh, no, hay otra Abigail. Gabriela Abigail, please. Very bad, butter, but the bitter, the butter was bitter. So very bad, better, butter to make the bitter, butter, better. Thank you, Susana del Carmen, please. Hi. <laughs> Very bad butter, but the butter was bitter. So very bad butter, butter to make the bitter butter better. Thank you very much. Give me one second. All right. So I'm gonna ask to everybody, right? So the reason that we ask we that we are asking this question, I mean this exercise, or we are practicing this exercise, guys, is because I want you to you guys. La lengüita está así. Quiero que me la suelte porque está amarrada. ¿verdad? Entonces, at the beginning, from the beginning, we need to learn. We need to start practicing every time you can, every time you want. All right. So, otra, otra tenga que le voy a dar, mi estimado, mi estimada, es de que si usted tiene un libro en inglés, ¿verdad? Lo agarre y empiece a leerlo. Por lo menos una, si puede, si puede una media hora, si no puede, pues unos diez minutos. Pero lo lee rápido. Esa es una técnica. Y le va a servir. Acuérdese, le va a servir. ¿Verdad? Es una técnica. Usted empieza a leer rápido, rápido. Aunque pronuncie mal las palabras. Pero el subconsciente, cuando usted vea una película o vea o, o escuche a alguien hablar, el subconsciente le va a recordar esa palabra y va a decir, hey, yo sé qué quiere decir esta palabra. Ah, ya voy entendiendo. Ya sea una técnica que le va a ayudar para que usted vaya agarrando su, eh, su fluency, su, su fluidez más rápido, ¿verdad? Se ha fijado que a veces a, hablamos, a mí me pasa, a veces yo me quedo, a, 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 no sé si de hablar en español o en inglés, pero es por lo mismo, ¿verdad? Que no, no estamos teniendo la, la, la práctica que se debe. Entonces, solamente dígame, Wendy Graciela Castillo. Good evening. Bueno, eh, sí, good evening. Yo solo comentar, se lo diré así en español porque todavía sí. me cuesta bastante. Eh, yo una de las técnicas que utilizo o practico para tratar de aprender a hablar mejor el inglés o no hablarlo, sino que a pronunciar más rápido, es que descargué una app de música y la música en inglés trae ahí para que uno le ponga la letra y ahí uno puede ir siguiendo la canción al ritmo de la canción. Se llama eh, Lyric, Lyric digo, Training, ¿no? se llama. Lyric Training. Uh -huh. yeah. Ya le voy a mandar aquí. Siento link. que ayuda bastante. Siento es, que buena, ayuda. es buena aplicación. Aquí le mando el, el, el nombre. Se llama Lyric Lyrics 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 Training. Ok, thank you. Lyric Training. All right, lo busca y lo que ella le acaba de decir está más que explicado y le va a ayudar de gran manera. Y la última técnica que le voy a dar, si usted dice, es que yo no puedo hablar con nadie, no tengo con quién hablar, agarra un espejito y se pone a decir, espejito, espejito, ¿quién es el más bonito? ¿Verdad? Entonces usted empieza a hablar y le dice, hey, hi, how are you? Good and you, very good. What we are going to do tonight? Oh, we are going to the, I mean, to the party. Oh, okay, very good. Y ahí empieza a hablar. Esa es otra técnica para que no se sienta solo o sola en su casa y que no hay nadie con quien hablar inglés, ¿ok? Very good. Let's start with the class. Let me know if you're if you are able to see what I'm checking right now, guys. Give me one second. We're going to double check. This is a quick review. Este es un review de que ustedes ya lo vieron con el teacher anterior, con Miss Sandra, yes. Creo que ese es el nombre de, de la compañera, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted me dice... Si lo puede ver, ¿verdad? Entonces, all right, the question is, did you do one of those things last week or weekend? All right, so, ¿cuál es things? All right, so, do you guys, do you guys understand the question that I am asking you right now? The question is, do, do you do one of those things last week or weekend? ¿Usted hicieron alguna de estas cosas el, el, la semana pasada o este fin de semana? All right, if I if you start if we are going to ask, so everybody knows, right? I hate standing in line. I don't know if you guys love or like to be waiting. I hate to go to the banks. I don't like to stand in line. No me gusta estar parado haciendo fila en el banco. Nobody likes that, right? So if I uh, if I if I am asking you guys, do you hate to do these things? 
Do you hate to stand in line, uh, Elmer? Do you yes. hate? Do you hate uh, to stand in line? Esa es la pregunta que tenemos acá, miren, se, la, se lo vuelvo a poner acá para que no nos, nos vayamos entendiendo, mire, esa es la preguntita. All right, esa es la pregunta, aquí está subrayado, ok. Do you hate to do these things? Usted odia hacer estas cosas, las que están ahí en la pantalla, ¿verdad? The top eight things people hate to do. All right, so my question for you, Elmer, it's do you hate to do a stand in line? What are things uh, and why? What? Mi, mi pregunta es si usted odia, porque el tema es ocho cosas que la gente odia hacer, ¿verdad? Yo hay unas cosas que yo no las odio porque son cosas que hay que hacerlas, ¿verdad? Voy a poner por acá, ¿verdad? Pero hay cosas que sí, tal vez no es la palabra odiar, pero esa palabra creo que es bien fuerte, ¿verdad? Pero O sea, nos cae mal, ¿verdad? Nos cae mal. I hate to, to stand in line. Yo, así como que no me gusta estar esperando. All right, so, but my question for you, Elmer, is do you, do you hate to do a stand in line? Si le gusta, mm -hmm. no le gusta, o, o no, no le gusta esperar en línea? ¿O estar parado? Porque okay. okay, esta es la primera pregunta. Esta es la primera pregunta. Aquí la estoy señalando. The question, I mean, the answer, guys, remember, if somebody's asking you, do you, por ejemplo, si esta es una pregunta fuera del tema, si yo le pregunto, guys, o le pregunto, Edgardo, do you speak English? What would be your answer? Uh, a little. Yes, yes teacher, I, I, I speak English a little. Okay, but the, the right answer needs to be like this. Yo, yo le entendí. ¿Verdad? Porque como somos cheros y conocemos cómo hablamos y todo, ¿verdad? Yo sé lo que me, me, lo que me quiso dar a entender. Pero la, la, la respuesta correcta sería, yes, I do. No, I don't. All right. Ah. Re remember about that. Do you speak English? Yes, I do. No, I don't. All right. So, a veces tenemos eh, la, no la mala costumbre, pero a veces decimos... Algo de que si usted lo traduce no tiene ni sentido, ¿verdad? O sea, porque a veces escuchamos que así habla, así, así hablan los nativos y a veces ni ellos saben qué quiere decir cuando dicen so, so. Y si usted traduce eso, es como que diga i, 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 i. Pero usted, usted le dicen, hey, do you speak English? So, so. Hey, how are you? So, so. But the right answer needs to be, uh, En ese caso, si usted no quiere decir, yes, I do, no, I don't, usted dice, so far, so good. Si yo le pregunto, hey, how you doing? How are you? So far, so good. What about you? Pero ya estamos hablando nosotros en un, en un término más, más nativo. All right? So, pero eso es punto y aparte. La respuesta acá, mi estimado Edgardo, es, yes, I do, no, I don't. All right? So, if I okay. ask, very good, very good. If I ask, uh, let me Eloida, good evening. If I ask you, Ledvia, do you hate to do laundry? Mm. Un poco. <laughs> no, no, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yo, en ese caso, lo que hago, este, digamos, si me dicen, hey, mister, do you hate to do laundry? No, I don't, because it's something that we have to do, right? Es mm. algo que tenemos que hacer. Por ley, yeah. por ley, all right? Le guste o no le guste, es algo que tiene que hacer. Exacto. Right? All right, so, no, no, I don't, pero se respeta la respuesta, obvio. ¿verdad? No, I don't. No, I don't, very good, very good. All right, so, uh, let's see, Oswaldo, uh, ya le pregunté, Oswaldo, no, Oswaldo, uh, do you hate to travel to work? <coughs> Oswaldo Hernández. Esta es. Yes. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Mm, no, I don't. Why? Mm, I don't like it. 
uh, because in the bus because it's it's stressful, right? It's stressful. It's annoying. I mean, it, it's like uh, my goodness. I don't know who lives in Soyapango, but I live in Soyapango, and if I want to go to uh, Santa Tecla, I work in Santa Tecla, but I'm working from home in the morning time, right? But if I, if my boss asks me, hey, Rene, look, we need you in the office. We need you in the office today. Oh, my goodness, they kill me alive. Me matan vivo. Cuando me dicen, we need you at the office today at 8 o'clock. Si imagina a qué horas tengo que agarrar yo el autobús de aquí donde yo vivo. Si me, y yo trabajo carretera al puerto. Desde aquí soy a Pango, me tengo que ir de aquí para estar tranquilito. Sin ningún problema, me tengo que ir de aquí a las tres y media de la mañana. So, that's stressful, right? That's, oh my goodness, annoying. 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 Hostigue. That is uh, something that I don't recommend to nobody. All right. And the same thing, if you guys live in Santa Tecla and if you have to come to Ilopango or Soyapango and I say, hey, look, I want us. I want to see you at eight o'clock at Plaza Mundo. Oh, my goodness. You will go like, oh, Jesus Christ. I have to wake up early and I have to deal with the traffic jam and everything. Right. Very good, Osvaldo. All right. So, Rebecca, if I ask you. Do you hate to clean the house? Yes, I do. Why? A specific yes. answer. I mean, I mean, no details. Don't just give me a simple answer. No worries. Yes, because it's it's stressful for me. It's stressful, right? Because probably you have two jobs, you have to work. I mean, you've been working all day and <laughs> Just arrive to your house and see a lot of mess like, oh, Dios mío, usted mira zapato por allá, camis, calcetín por allá. Yeah, Sus, that's right. Sucio. And you've been working desde las 7 de la mañana hasta las 9 de la noche que llega a la casa porque todavía va a la universidad. Oh, my goodness. That's a stressful. I, I, I don't want to see anything. I, I, I write it. I write it to pay to anybody else to clean up my house. Very good, very good. Okay, let's see, let me ask to someone else. Uh, let's see, uh, Wendy Graciela Castillo Gonzalez. Do you hate yeah. to, ex do you hate to exercise? Um, no, I don't. Okay, why? <laughs> I don't like exercise. I like uh, dancing. Okay. No, I don't. Okay, okay, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. I like to dance. I like to be dancing. All right. It's similar. <laughs> Simi similar, but you know, in a different, in a different, in a different way. Okay. Understood. Understandable. Very good. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Wendy. All right. Let's see who else is here. Se me pierden acá. Okay. preguntado. Okay. Let's see. Rebecca Vanessa Flores Rodriguez. Do you hate? to work in the in the yard mm -hmm. no i don't why i like it okay i like it why why you like it because it's for latin i mean it's easy right it's easy you know we just need to dig some holes and you know, put whatever we want to uh, harvest and everything else. Okay, very good answer. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Uh, Maria Jose Cheveria Cheveria, do you hate to go to meetings? Miss Cheveria, Cheveria, are you there? Okay, if you're not there, no worries. Lazaro Albert, uh, Alberto Guerrero. Do you hate to go to meetings? To meetings, I'm sorry. All right, Karina Canales. Do you hate open? Do you hate to do? I mean, do you hate to open the mail?
can you hear me guys? Nobody's answer. Okay, let's see. Anybody else? Um any volunteer, any victim or volunteer? All right, so I believe uh, everybody uh, already participated, right? So if you guys uh, remember that we need to be, part Edgardo, you already participate, right? So let me ask you again. Yes. Do you hate uh, open the mail? No, I don't, teacher. For me, it's indifferent. It's different. I mean, it's sort of, I mean, something easy to do. So there's no big deal. It's not a big deal. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, Elsie La Carmen, do you hate, uh, let's see, travel to work? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, yes, you do. Why? Is because it's stressful. Is in in both. Uh -huh. Is it stressful? As it's annoying. Very good. Very good, very good, very good. All right, so it depends, um, right? Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. It depends, right? It depends, right? Sometimes we we travel by car. We are basically riding the bus or you need to drive. All right, so in my case, I have a, my bike, my motorcycle, and it's stressful. All right, so sometimes I have my, my bike here as a as a adorno you know because i don't use it i have it right here you know i i ride it to to pay for an a uber and a uber a uber car a uber ride so instead of use my my bike a veces prefiero mejor pagar un, un in driver or un, un uber en vez de usar mi moto because it's stressful too all right very good very good let's see let's see the danger t-shirt it's pretty dangerous. Yes, it is. It is. It is. It is. All right. So let's go. Wait one second. Let me close this out. Let's see. All right. Wait one second. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Sometimes I don't see this thing. Okay. All right. So now let's uh, repeat everybody. Do you have a good weekend? Come on, let's go. Everybody, do you have a good weekend? Did Come on. Do you have a good weekend? One more time, please. Do you have a good weekend? Did, Did you, you have, have a good weekend? weekend? Okay. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. What about yes, you? Yes. What about you? Let's see. Uh, Elmer, do you have a good weekend? What? Do you have a good weekend? Esa es la pregunta que estoy haciendo. La que está acá. La que está acá. No se me. No nos vayamos muy retiraditos. Permítame. Vamos a ver. Aquí lo agarro. Aquí agarro el cuadrito. Esta es la pregunta que acabo de hacer. Pero lo limpio acá y la vuelvo a hacer acá. Do you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Our... Okay. Okay. Very good. Very good. And if I want to know more details about it, all right, so, como ya conozco a Elmer, all right, so I'm going to ask him why, right? So, pero si esta pregunta se la hace su jefe, su amigo, su amiga, usted le da detalle, ¿verdad? Pero si la hace, se lo hace, digamos, alguien que conoció ayer, o en este caso, mi persona, que los, nos acabamos de conocer, ¿verdad? Entonces, yo le digo, hey, do you have a good weekend, Rebecca? Su respuesta tiene que ser, yes, I did. No, I didn't. ¿Verdad? Entonces, hasta ahí. Ya, si yo soy el jefe de Rebecca y le digo, why, Rebecca, why? Because, y bla, 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 bla. Y me empieza a contar desde el 1 hasta el 10. ¿Por qué? Tuvo un mal, un mal fin de semana. All right. So just remember, guys, every time that you talk, every time, I mean, every time that you have a, a, a conversation with someone that is next to you, around you, or is, or is asking, somebody is asking you questions, you need to acknowledge. No sé si le explicaron anteriormente que era acknowledge, the question. Usted tiene que entender la pregunta. Por ejemplo, si yo le digo en español, uh, Elsie, 
¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo ha estado esta noche? ¿Cuál sería su respuesta? Muy bien. Uh -huh. Pero le, le faltó algo. Uh -huh. La empatía, ¿verdad? La, en este caso, la empatía. The empathy. All right. So, if I, esto siempre tenga lo por, por siempre y manténgalo y, y lo sabemos también como a veces en, en nuestro idioma nosotros somos un poco así como que no, no, que no nos guste, pero que somos así casi medio como groseritos, ¿verdad? Que no nos gusta saludar. O sea, nosotros si no, nos dicen, hola, ¿cómo estás, Elsie? Bien. Y yo así, ups, Elsie está enojada. All right. Pero la like, empathy es like this, right? Hey, Elsie. O sea, tampoco le digo que se ponga a reírse como cepillín, ¿verdad? Y me, me diga, hey, no. Le digo, hey, Elsie, how are you? How are you tonight? Oh, pretty good. What about you? Good. Thank you so much for asking, Elsie. Hey, I see you. I see you. Have a good night. Good night. Pero, o sea, that's the empathy that you need to have every time that somebody's asking you. My question or what I'm trying to tell you tonight, guys, es que acknowledge quiere decir de que si yo le digo, what is your name? Usted me dice, my name is... Rebecca, my name is Wendy, my name is Lydia, my name is Elmer, y así, ¿verdad? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Oh, how old are you? I am 30 yeah. years old, I am 29. Pero si, si usted va a una entrevista, a una entrevista, un, en, un, en un lugar donde se habla inglés, y le dicen, hey, uh, si le pregunto, déjame ver, que ya le pregunté a esta, a esta persona, vamos a ver, a preguntar a alguien más acá. Le pregunto a Camila, Camila, how old are you? What would be your answer? Me está diciendo sobre mi, mi edad, ¿verdad? Exacto. Oh. How, how old are you, Camila? Um, ya no me acuerdo, no, un momento, que me quiero acordar. That's basic, acuérdense, eso es básico. Tenemos que manejarlo así al one, two, three. Pero no se preocupe, yo le ayudo, yo le ayudo, no se preocupe. How old are you? Let's see, alguien que le ayude a Camila. Edgardo, how old are you, Edgardo? Ah, ya, me ya, ya me acordé cómo se dice. Ok, go ahead. Ya me la palabra. How old are you, Camila? Uh, how old? Um, ay, ¿cómo es que me está? Ahí me está preguntando cómo estoy. No, no, how how old are you? How old are you? Así. Uh, how old are you? Vamos a ponerle eso. Está preguntando, me está preguntando sobre la... Ahí está, bien. How old are you? Ajá. Es que ah, eso es... Ah, ah, ah. I have night in Mhm. Tiene la idea, pero no, no, no va así. No va así. Ajá, I sí, am no 26 así. years old. I am 26 ah. years old. Ajá, very good. Oh, okay, Ajá. thank you. Ajá, very good. Pero mi, mi pregunta o mi punto es de que si yo le digo, Edgardo, how old are you? I'm fine, teacher. No, how old are I'm, you? Sorry, sorry. I'm 41 years old. I am 41 years old. Very good. El punto es de que cuando se le dice knowledge o le hacen esta pregunta en un lugar donde se habla inglés, si usted le dice, how old are you? Y yo le digo, ah, I am, I am 40. No, perdón. Si yo, me dicen, how old are you? 40. Pero yo me quedo, 40. 40. No, pero tiene que decir, I am 40 years old. ¿Verdad? Tiene que completar toda la oración para que se le entienda. Ok, now, let's see. Uh, Michael and Jennifer. Michael and Jennifer, vamos a hacer tus prácticas rápido en lo que paso lista. All right, let's see. Uh, Edgardo and Elsie, be my guest. Edgardo va a ser Michael and, Jenny, and Jennifer va a ser Elsie. Go ahead. Okay. Did you, have, did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did, but I feel a little tired today. <coughs> really? Why? Well, on Saturday... I exercise in the morning, the, then my roommate, and I clean it and super, and then I visit my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? 
I stayed for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study, I just watched TV all day. Excellent, very good. Uh, Rebecca and Elmer, please be my guest, go ahead. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did, but I feel a little tired today. Really, why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning in my room and in the cleaning and shopping in the and visit my parent. So what did you do on Sunday? I study for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched TV all day. Excellent, very good. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, let's see, uh, let Pia and Oswaldo please be my guests. Did you have it? Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did, but I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I ex exercise. Exercise in the morning, then my roommate and I clean it and shop it. And then I visit my parents. So what did you do you on Sunday? I studied for the days all day. Thank you. Oh. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, uh Genesis Genesis and Jaime, please be my guest. Go ahead. Uh, yo soy Michael. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, did you have good weekend? Genesis, are you there? Yes, I did, but I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I clean it and shop, and shop, and then I visit my parents so what do you do on sunday i studied for the test all day oh no do we have a test today i did st study i just watch it tv all day thank you uh let's see karen and karina please Yes, we can hear you. Yes, lo podemos escuchar, no se preocupe. Go ahead. Okay. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did, but I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Sunday, I exercise in the morning, then my roommate, and I clean it and shop it, and then I visit my parents so what did you what did you do on sunday i studied for the test all day oh no do we have a test today i did study i just watched it to be all day excellent let's see uh wendy graciela and uh jonathan yes um did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did. But uh, I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning. Then my roommate and I clean it and shop it. And then I visit, visit, visit my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied, studied for the test all day. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched TV all day. Thank you, Edgardo and Camila, please be my guests. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did, but I feel a little tired today. 
really why well on saturday i exercise in the morning then my roommate and a clean it and shop it and then eat bicep my parents so what did you do on sunday i studied for the test all day oh no do we have a test today i didn't study i just watched tv all day thank you denise and carolina please be my guest Denise and Carolina, be my guests. Okay. Do you have... Uh, go ahead, go ahead. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did, but I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I excited in the morning. They might run it and I clean it and hop it, but then I visit my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I studied for the text all day. Oh, no. Do we have a text test today? I didn't study. I just watched TV all day. Thank you, Alvaro and, Car Alvaro and Carl uh, Carla, sorry. Hay algún árbaro, Álvaro. Yes. Ok, go ahead. ¿Quién empieza, teacher? Anybody, anybody anyone, don't, no worries. Go ahead. ¿Qué sería Michael? ¿Carla o, o Álvaro? Álvaro. I am. Ok. Did you have a good weekend? Yes, I did, but I feel a little tired today. Really? Why? Well, on Saturday, I exercise in the morning, stay in my room, and I training and shopping, and they, I visited my parents. So, what did you do on Sunday? I yes, I do that for a day, these days out of there. Oh no, do we have a test today? I didn't study. I just watched TV all day. All right, thank you very much. All right, so now let me just uh, pass this real quick and then we're gonna jump again to a different topic. Give me one second. So you did a good job. Give me one second. Let's see. Let me just go ahead and and pass list at this moment. Okay. Give me one second. So let's see. This moment. <laughs> Okay, just a moment. All right, let me just uh, call you one by one and you can answer. I am here, present, or uh, whatever you like to answer, okay? Let's see, class 11. All right, let's see. Uh, Alvaro Mauricio Canales Villatoro. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Ana Xiomara Barrera de Rivera. Ana Xiomara Barrera de Rivera. Brenda Rachel, Rachel Abrego Arevalo. 
Brenda Rachel Abrego Arevalo. Camila Alessandra Consuegra Arias. Present. Miss. Carolina Elizabeth Beltrán Iraeta. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, miss. Uh, Clara Judith Rodas Pacheco. Clara Judith Rodas Pacheco. Denise Rosalía Hernández Rodríguez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Edgardo Ernesto Escobar Polanco. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Edmer Giovanni Perez. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Elsie del Carmen Sandoval de Ventura. Present, teacher. Thank you, miss. Gabriela Abigail Guzmán Bonilla. I'm here. Thank you, miss. Genesis Abigail Hernandez Aguilar. Present. Thank you, miss. Jaime Alfredo Lemos Rodriguez. Jaime Alfredo Lemos Rodriguez. Jonathan Adonai Hernandez Martin. Thank you. Jonathan Adonai Hernandez Martinez. Okay. Present teacher. Oh. Okay. I, I am Jonathan. Okay. Okay. And Jaime Alfredo Lemos Rodriguez. Present. Okay. Thank you, sir. Jose Oswaldo Hernandez Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, sir. Karen Xiomara Nunez Trejo. I'm here. Thank you, miss. Karina Jamilet Hernandez Canales. Present teacher. Karina Jamilet Hernandez Canales. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Carla Elizabeth Navarro de Hernandez. Carla Elizabeth Navarro de Hernandez. Carla Saraí Ramos Sotero. Present teacher. Thank you. Kathy Esther Guzman de Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you. Lázaro Alberto Guerrero Meléndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Letvia Eloida Aquino de Alvarado. Present. Thank you, Miss. Maria Jose Chavarria Chavarria. Maria Jose Chavarria Chavarria. Present. Thank you, Miss. Nevi Isolina Vasquez Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Oswaldo Stanley Morales Hidalgo. Oswaldo Stanley Morales Hidalgo. No Rebecca. here, teacher. Thank you. Rebecca Vanessa Flores Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Rodrigo Alexis Mata Beltran. I'm here. Thank you, sir. Uh, Susana del Carmen Rodriguez Martir. Present teacher. Thank you. Wendy Graciela Castillo Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. And Jedmi we, uh, Wendy Led Batres Flores. Okay. Si no lo mencioné, pues me uh, avisan en un momento, por favor. Okay, let's see. All right, guys. Uh, before we continue with the classes, uh, let me let me just explain some information real quick. When you guys are, or when my person, or when myself is asking or mention your names. You need to have your cameras on, right? Tenemos que tener las cámaras encendidas y mencionar el, el, su nombre. ¿Por qué razón? No sé si lo mencionaron anteriormente, el, el teacher anterior, porque es el sistema no le va a reconocer, ¿verdad? Creo que ya estamos sabedores, ¿verdad? Solamente eso para que no se vaya a molestar al final del curso, ¿verdad? Porque el, el sistema no le reconoce y después el porcentaje le aparece este bajo y usted dice no, si yo estuve en todas las clases sí pero el sistema no reconoció eso así que solamente le hago saber esa información ok, dime one second eh, teacher solo dime. quería eh, quería informarle eh, yo siempre enciendo la cámara pero el día de ahora no pude porque eh, la compu no tenía carga entonces por eso estoy utilizando el teléfono el teléfono celular y le, no se ve muy bien la cámara entonces por eso no la tengo encendida por ah, eso bueno. solo estoy como escuchando nada más Bueno, bueno, bueno. Sí, entonces, por ahora les decía sí, yo que... Bueno, dígame, dígame. Can you see me in the camera? I can. Yes, I can. Ah. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, I can. Oh, the, yeah, the, the reason that I'm asking these questions or is because I don't want to, I don't want to mm -hmm. have, a, you know, uh, misunderstandings, right? So, between me and you, ¿verdad? No quiero tener malos entendidos y al final usted... Este, lo que le sugiero de que cuando tenga un problemita, los, 
lo comunica aquí con el, con el, con el maestro, con el, con el profesor, ¿verdad? Y lo mande a la, al chat, ¿verdad? Usted dice, hey, no, no, no puedo conectarme ahorita porque estoy del celular, entonces ya se lo comuniqué o ya se lo voy a comunicar al maestro o quien está aquí dando la clase, ¿verdad? Entonces ya pues eh, los, los coordinadores toman en cuenta esa, 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 esa opinión, pero si usted solo se, se pone en, en, en oyente y no, no pone la cámara encendida, pues el sistema no le va a reconocer, right? So, give me one second, ya casi nos vamos, yo sé que están cansaditos, todos estamos cansados, ¿verdad? Sí, Quizás es. de mi parte, profe, la situación era conocer la, a primera mano su, su impresión, y entonces por eso no la había encendido, nada más. Ah, ok, ok, no, no se preocupe, le hago saber esto para que no, no, no se vayan a, a, a molestar, ¿verdad? Porque a veces eh, no, no, les comen, no les comentan esa información anteriormente y después dice, a mí no me, no, me, no me dijeron nada. Yo no sé, yo no, yo no, estu, no estuve sabedora y, y hace ya, ya, no, ya no sé, ya no, no pasan al siguiente, al siguiente módulo, pues solamente por eso, no se preocupe. Ok, guys, vamos a ver. Este, permítame, ya casi terminamos. Eh, solo preguntarles en la plataforma en qué parte se han quedado. ¿Se quedaron en el 4-1, 4-2 o 4-3? En mi ¿Para? caso, ya lo finalicé. ¿Ya finalizó todo? Sí, porque yo tengo problemas con mi trabajo. Entonces, este, uh -huh. lo que hago es avanzar lo más que puedo los fines de semana, que es el único día que puedo, ¿verdad? Y por lo contrario, entre semanas se me dificulta. Y right. en, los módulos, en los módulos anteriores me dijeron de que si yo adelantaba, pues, que estaba bien. Mm. No había ningún problema. No hay ningún problema. Solamente eh, lo que les comunicaba al principio, ¿verdad? Mis estimados, estimadas, de que si usted puede, bueno, que sí, tiene, eh, que así, así es el, creo que se lo han dicho, es terminar sus ejercicios, como ha dicho ahorita el compañero, ¿verdad? Lo más pronto posible. Porque si usted lo deja todo para el fin de semana, el sistema no se lo va a reconocer. O sea, usted tiene que hacer su, sus tareas de lunes a, a jueves antes de las 3 de la tarde. O sea, estoy hablando prácticamente de lunes a miércoles, ¿verdad? Que usted haga sus tareas. Ya si usted lo hace viernes, sábado y domingo, posiblemente el sistema no le va a reconocer sus tareas. Y usted, aunque las tenga hechas, eh, le va a aparecer una nota, creería yo, baja, ¿verdad? Entonces, solamente... Pero, según tengo entendido, uh -huh. eh, yo con mi coordinador, eh, porque escribimos personalmente el directo de él, uh -huh. y él me dijo que no hay problema, media vez, si es por mi trabajo, que está bien, van a hacer la excepción con mi caso, siempre. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. y que yo puedo estar trabajando en fines de semana, porque es el único uh -huh. día, porque a veces, eh, nosotros, donde yo trabajo, iniciamos eh, temporada alta, y a veces, pues a veces... Vengo ya a 7, 8, a veces 9 de la noche, casi, casi que vengo que corriendo, pues. Ok, ok, no se preocupe. Me dijeron, ajá, me dijeron de que no haya problema, que me debes ahí, pero que yo siempre notificara, lo cual hasta la fecha lo estoy haciendo con mi coordinador. Perfecto, perfecto. Yo le hago saber esto por lo, las otras personas que tal vez no estaban sabedores. Y si ya están sabedores, pues retiro lo dicho no se me vaya a enojar conmigo, ¿verdad? Yo solamente le paso el, el mensaje para que usted esté al tanto, ¿verdad? Porque no quiero que se me vaya a quedar, ¿all right? So, este, las tareas. Yo este, suelo poner, eh, subir unas tareas las cuales no las, no son mandatorias, ¿all right? So, try to do your, I mean, as much as you can, ¿ok? Trate de hacer lo más que pueda. Si usted puede, termine. Si no puede, no las termine. Yo sé que pasa trabajando y suficiente con la plataforma, ¿verdad? Si usted puede, puede hacer un, un PDF y lo pone como trabajo formal, ¿verdad? Como adultos que somos, ¿verdad? Un trabajo formal lo pone así en el, en el WhatsApp y es todo. Solo para tomar en cuenta que estamos trabajando y esto le ayuda a usted a que se desarrolle más en la práctica que usted tiene. Acuérdese de conseguir un libro, de practicar en su espejo, de agarrar un trabalengua diario y créame de que su carrera se le va a hacer más corta de lo que se imagina. Pero si no tomamos esas, esas medidas o esos consejos, créame que se nos va a hacer un poco más largo, se nos va a hacer este, sí, un poquito más largo y yo no quiero que usted pase acá eh, tres años, cuatro años, ¿verdad? Tenemos que salir de aquí lo más pronto posible con un buen inglés, ¿verdad? I don't know if you, have, if you guys have any questions before we 
go to bed because los veo que ya están así, igual que mi persona, que estamos así. <risa> ¿Verdad? No, yo sé, lo, lo miro cansadito a todos, ¿verdad? ¿Qué te menos si estamos despiertos desde las 5 de la mañana? ¿Verdad? La mayoría estamos así. La mayoría, no ni, ni pregunto, pero... If you have any question, guys, ask the question. If you don't, I see you tomorrow because I don't know when uh, the, previous, uh, the previous teacher is going to come back. If she don't come back, all right, so I'm going to be, you know, your teacher. And, I mean, creo que faltan como cinco, uh, cinco, cinco clases más. And we are going to finish together, all right? So, but ha sido un placer. Los veo mañana. God's will. See you tomorrow. And, and take yeah. it easy. Have a good night, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night guys. Good night, teacher. Good night, guys. Thank you so much. Good night. Good night.